Hi everyone. Noble and compact. At the latest since Harley Davidson presented the Fat Boy in the 2020 model year with many chrome parts, the calls for more chrome have also become louder here. Engine parts, fork, dashboard and the famous tank emblem designed by Willie GR chrome plated as standard. And here we have once again reached vigorously into the shelf with the shiny parts and thus fulfilled the wishes of our customer. The wheels should be in 21 inches, with black coated rim beds and chrome wheel spiders and hubs. The 15 spoke wheels from our CNC machined spoke series look particularly nice here with our short fenders. We converted the swing arm with our kit so that the big wheel can be installed with a 260 air cruiser tick. Our steel fender with recessed lighting units, the side license plate holder and the short exhaust system from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde keep the right side of the bike visible. The slam tail system at the rear provides the show effect when stationary and a sporty suspension while riding, while the front is also lowered and looks flat with the handlebar conversion. With some more chromed and black coated parts as well as the black genuine leather seat with Chesterfield quilting, the bike fits nicely into our concept of the equally noble and compact fat boy, which is rounded off by some parts from Harley's Defiance series. Call me boss. We enhanced the fat boy's dominant appearance with a few targeted measures during this rebuild. The continuous matte black color with only a few glossy accents makes a powerful statement. Even the frame was blacked out, for which we had to disassemble the entire bike into its individual parts. On this occasion, we immediately replaced everything that supports our concept of an impressive boss bike. Somewhat unusual appear the large wheels on the fat boy, which with their original wheels in 18 inches otherwise looks even more beefy. The 21 and 23 inch CNC machined aluminium wheels in the popular spoke design are like most of the other replaced parts made in Hamilton. With the lowering at the front and the adjustable suspension at the rear, we still achieve the desired crouched stance. The original handlebars sit on our old style risers and have aluminium grips that, along with the tank emblems, are among the few interruptions in the matte black finish. The single sided swing arm, shortened headers with the Jekyll and Hyde exhaust system and side license plate reveal this insanely beautiful design and fat rubber in 260 width. Unlimited with this limited anniversary edition of the Fat Boy to the 115th of the company has anything but limitation in mind. Probably rather the opposite. The chassis new, the engine blown up, the paint of the finest and as a crowning touch a mega fat handlebar. Thus, this conversion screws our popular series with the Road Force, the Red Force and the Road Force 3.0 one step higher. A total of only 900 units were built, of which 150 made it to Europe. As usual for special anniversaries, there was also a limited edition of this Softail model. You can recognize the 115th birthday by the paint in legend blue denim and the logo in a somewhat snotty tattoo style. Master Cruiser carried it on brilliantly on our newly added parts like the fenders, the spoiler and the cover. Our popular force style is again characterized by the single-sided swing arm, wheels in 21 inches and 23 inches, original 18 inches, air ride and lowering at the front and rear, and high handlebars. The exposed fat rear tire burns with the 131 cubic inches kit from Screaming Eagle with round about 130 horsepower in the street. Thus, this fine bullet goes to a Dutch customer, a registration for German roads is still in work.
it's a new dude in town. This new custom bike looks familiar to you? Then you're probably a fan of our small series of power cruisers that we developed around two years ago, based on the Fat Boy. This distinctive soft tail model gave rise to our popular dude brothers, Dayton, Matt, Solid and Dark Dude. What unites them is the visual simplicity that brings their pure power to the fore. Lower ring, wide tires, tight fenders, short exhaust and a big ladle from the pot with the black paint for the fork and the original wheels including the brake discs and for some other parts. These are the components that this dude is made from. On top comes the pulley brake system and the side license plate holder. The steel fender takes care of the lighting duties and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde the sound system, which is controlled by a button on the handlebars as usual. Here too everything is coordinated. The Hollywood light handlebars sit on short risers, and the small turn signals are hidden under the dashboards. Unadorned is the whole appearance, which only tolerates Nardo Grau as color. The dude needs no bling bling. It shines with power from its 114 cubic inches Milwaukee 8 engine and its 1A chassis. That's my way. All my bikes are colorful and have lots of chrome. That's just my way. After all, I've already seen the premiere of Easy Riders. The cult film hit theaters in 1969, so our customer JJ has many years to talk about. JJ's latest bike history proves that this age is by no means the end of the road. He bought his four custom Harleys from Thunderbike, and this fat boy will be his fifth. Sitting low, fists in the wind, lots of chrome, colorful paint. What a mega appearance. The fat boy is hardly recognizable and you hardly know where to look first. Our big spoke wheels in 18 inches and 21 inches with the matching brake discs, the steel rear fender with the integrated lighting, the spoiler and the massive fork give the soft tail a completely new character. The harmonious overall concept is created by the wide rear end as a counterweight to the fat front end and the finely coordinated paint design. Once again, Ingo Cruiser has delivered a masterpiece. As a loyal fan, the entrepreneur from the very north of Germany knows the Thunderbike YouTube channel, where we present the latest Thunderbike conversions. In line with his aforementioned prey scheme, the modern classic caught his eye right away. Based on another current soft tail model, the Breakout, we then built a timeless classic with a modern attitude. Thanks for watching.